Let's uh, get our next question. We have Farah. Hi. Um, I work uh, for industry supplying products into hospitals to help for um, patient health care. So back to a health care question. Um, and you do talk about opening up more beds. Um, with your review of saving funds or uh, better health care, will you be reviewing at all how to better spend that money? Yep. Opening up more beds requires more nursing staff. Yep. Um, is there any attention or is there any advice that either of you, uh, how seriously are you taking on board advice from medical experts uh, that are in hospitals and not uh, so much uh, executive sort of yeah. thing on the financial side and just um, uh, is opening up the beds the only solution that you yeah. are offering because there's a lot more, it's a lot more involved than that yeah. and it just, um, I can see it opens up a lot more. Yeah. Um, the more beds is only one component of our comprehensive health policy. In terms of listening to the experts, absolutely. So the College of Emergency and Medicine has endorsed Labor's plan. The College of Psychiatrists has endorsed Labor's plan. The College of Paramedicine has endorsed Labor's plan because we've worked with them to develop it, to make sure that the plan that we take to the election is actually going to make a difference. More beds is all but one component. The Premier and I are in agreement that we have to have a sophisticated health policy, but it's got to be underpinned by more capacity. So we've announced a plan for over 300 more beds, 300 more nurses, 100 more doctors, and 350 extra ambulance officers. But you know what the most critical area of need that I think we've got to invest in to be specific is mental health. Mental health has been neglected for too long. There's a saying that if COVID was the earthquake, mental health is the tsunami. And our part of our plan by not proceeding with the Riverbank Arena is to invest in the biggest investment in mental health beds and services in a generation in our state. We can't kick this can down the road any longer. So there is nuance and sophistication to the way we allocate those resources. There is absolutely an imperative to make sure we're doing things more efficiently. But today I announced that of those 300 nurses, three of them are gonna be going to the epilepsy centre. Now that's a, a small commitment in the context of the health budget, but a really important one. Let me just give you a quick two seconds why. There are 60,000 South Australians with epilepsy, 10,000 in active cases. Most of the time now, or a lot of time now, they call triple zero when there's a seizure, when they don't have to. If we invest in nurses that have specialist skills to teach people how to handle uh, an epileptic fit when they occur, you can actually prevent a triple zero call. So you've got to be nuanced and you've got to be specific. But I keep coming to the top line point. If we don't have the additional capacity, we're going to be here in four years' time, and I don't want to run that.